Hello, I'm Johnny Crumpler with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. As mentioned in the last video, when micro-stepping is used, the available torque may be reduced. In this segment, we will explain why torque may be reduced when micro-stepping is turned on. When a step motor is given a full step, 100% of the current goes into the winding. If we take a drive and motor combination that will use 3.0 amps, we can calculate the RMS current of that pulse. For a pulse with a duration of 5 milliseconds, assuming a speed of 1 revolution per second and 200 steps per revolution, we can calculate the RMS current. As we can see in the calculation, the RMS value of a full step is equal to the motor and drive current. This is the same for a half step. However, the calculations for micro-stepping are a little more complex. Using a relatively small micro-stepping factor of 20, we can see how each increment of the step must be calculated. In each increment, the current will change by a step in current and duration in time to approximate a sine wave. Though the drive can produce 3 amps, the RMS value for micro-stepping will be equal to 0.707 times the peak of the sine wave. In order to compensate for the reduction of current, some drives will increase the peak of the sine wave during micro-stepping. This peak value allows for the full rated RMS current to be realized even while in micro-stepping mode. While micro-stepping brings with it many benefits, one downside is the reduction in current to the motor. This, in turn, will reduce the available torque to the motor shaft. When sizing a stepper system, it is important to take this potential torque reduction into account. I'm Johnny Crumpler for Two Minutes of Motion. Please join us in our next video.